Hey, welcome to Color Up. Today I'm going to show you his best $10 craft strategy. Who's? Crappy the Craftsman. And then I'm also going to make an alteration to see if I can improve it. Let's try it out. Now he says this is his best strategy for a $10 table and he calls it collect the green. So what he's going to do is make a $30 bet. This is a $10 table, so a little bit higher. We're going to do $30 on the six and eight. If he hits one, either one, let's say the six hits, you're going to get paid 35. Here's where the name comes in. He collects the green. He uses the $10 and pushes it down the line and covers the five. Now, if the five were to roll, that's going to pay 14. It's not a green, so we're not going to collect. So we're going to use the money and push it down the line and we'll go to the four. We've got some pennies here, so we'll just, we'll just keep those. Let's say we can get another roll on the six. Again, it's gonna pay 35. Hey, there's a green chip. We'll keep that and we'll use the $10 to cover the five. The nice thing about that, we got a $20 bet. If the five were to hit, we're gonna get paid 28. We keep that green and push these down the line. So he uses the six and feeds down. He uses the, if he rolls the eight, he feeds this way. And then once he's full, he just keeps pressing them out. Simple, it's pulling money back. It's tells you how to press. Great, I love it. But I do have a little alteration. For me personally, $60 is a lot to cover two different numbers. So I thought, well, what could I do that's a little bit cheaper? Well, I thought if I go down to an $18 bet on the six and eight, and then I can cover the five and nine as well for $10. So I'm in it for 56 and got more numbers covered and he's in it for 60. The problem is on the first six or eight hit, I'm not going to get to collect. So he's gonna collect and start reducing his risk. I'm not, I'm actually going to power press. So let's say the six hits, 18 is going to pay 21. I'm gonna throw in an extra $3 or power press. So that's gonna be enough to press the six and eight up to 30. But even with this power press, I was in 56, now I'm in for 59. So these would, on the first hit, he has less risk on the table me, I'm just now getting these up to the green level. The trade-off being that I had the five and nine covered. That way, you know, if the six and eight doesn't roll and I'm hitting the five and nine, I could start, you know, moving down to the four and 10 and then start collecting. So which is the better method? Well, it just depends if the dice are rolling six and eights early. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out and compare both of them at the same time and see how it turns out. 600 for color up, 600 for crappy. We're not going to bet on the line, so we're not rolling. We'll assume someone else is rolling, and we'll go ahead and get a point established before we start betting. All right, here we go, coming out. Eight, eight easy, eight's the point. So he's gonna throw in $60 and ask the dealer to place the six and eight. And I'm gonna put him up front, and then I'm gonna go in the back. So I'm also going to throw in $60. I'm going to tell the dealer to place the inside heavy on the six and eight. So we got 60 here. So we'll go 10, 10, and 18, 18. And I forgot to give my $4 change. So his version, we've got to hit the six or eight. My version, we got a couple more numbers working for us. All right, here we go. Eight, eight the hard way, point hit. So 30 is going to win 35. He's going to collect his green and use the 10 to cover or place the nine. My 18 is going to pay 21. I'm gonna throw in $3, so now I'm in it for $59. And that's gonna be enough dealer, take me up to 30 on the six and eight. And the puck is going to go off. So he has one less, he's missing the five, but look, he's got $25 less at risk because we hit that six or eight early. All right, let's go ahead and get a point established, get a new point. 12, craps. My dice rolled there. Yo, 11. Keep rolling, try to establish a point here. Eight, back on that eight, the hard eight. All right, so we're eight on the eight. Our bets are now working, and here we go. Six the hard way. So he's going to get paid 35, he collects the green, and then covers the five. I'm actually going to get paid my 35 here. So I get paid 35. I'm going to finally collect a green 
And then now I have $10, I will use the change, now I got $20 on that five. So I'll get a green on that one. So I still have more money at risk. He's almost out of the hand. He's got, you know, $10 at risk. All right, here we go. Eight point hit. All right, 30 is going to pay 35. He's collecting a green and he's gonna move it and put it down on the nine. Same for me, 35. I'm going to collect a green and put some on the nine and the puck is gonna go off. Go ahead and wait for a point to be established. 12 creps. Six the hard way, six hard. So we're out on the six, puck's on, our bets are on. Um, so where do we stand? We're basically even, except for he only has $10 on the five and he's pulled an extra green off. All right, here we go. He's actually in profit already. And there's the seven. So these are all going to come down and he definitely came out ahead the round. Buck is off. And we'll try it again. Now I haven't even tested out this theory. This is just kind of a theory of mine to cover more numbers at the beginning. So I don't know how it'll turn out. Well, I do, depending on how the numbers roll. 10 hard, 10 is going to be our point. So again, we'll just pull here and go $60, get the six and eight covered. And I'm also going to do $60. And I'm going to get four and change. and cover the inside numbers heavy on the six and eight. All right, let's see what happens this time. Here we go. 10, uh, 10 easy point hit. Neither of us are on the 10. Puck's gonna go off though. We'll just wait for a new point. Eight the hard way. I don't know why I said eight the hard way, it's not. Eight easy, all right, we're out on the eight. Our bets are working. And here we go. Five, fever five. All right, he's not on the five. 10 is gonna get paid 14. So I can cover the four actually. And remember, I have extra pennies, so I could throw in a penny here, make this $15 bet on the four, and that'll pay the green on the very next hit. All right, here we go. Yo, 11. 10. Uh, all right, we don't have the 10. And there's the seven, so neither of us got anywhere there. All right, puck is gonna go off, clean these up. I spread out and covered a couple numbers. He never got the six and eight, but both of us, neither of us recouped our money or made a profit on that share. All right, here we go. Coming out, looking for a new point. Two aces. Seven on the come out. We don't care about that. We're not playing the pass line. Six the hard way, six hard. Out on the six. So again, we'll do $60 to cover the six and eight. And I'm also gonna throw in 60. I'm gonna get four and change. We're gonna cover the inside heavy on the six and eight. Some dealers will understand that the inside bet heavy on the six and eight. Some dealers, you know, you just, it might just take a second. Hey, I want $18 on the six and eight and $10 each on the five and nine. Just communicate with them and they'll, they'll get it down. And it's pretty easy for them to navigate that. And here we go. Let's see what happens. Eight the hard way, eight hard. So 30 is going to pay 35. He's collecting his green and covering the nine with the change. 18 is going to pay 21. I'm going to throw in three and, I, and ask the dealer to take me to $30 on the six and eight. So he's collecting. I'm just now getting up to $30 level. All right, here we go. Eight, there's that eight again. So 30 is going to pay 35, collect a green, Use the change, put on the nine. I'm gonna get also 35. I'm going to collect my green and cover my nine. 
All right, here we go. There's that seven. So notice he had pulled two greens off. I had only pulled one off. I had an extra number covered, but who cares? It didn't, ma it didn't work out right, it didn't matter. All right, well, before I flip off the puck, let's go ahead and clean all this up. It goes to the house. All right, new shooter. This is a strategy where you're starting light, relatively right, $60 in, but you really need a long sustained roll to really recoup these initial little losses and come back for a big win. All right, so let's go, well, we'll just wait for a point to be established first. All right, here we go. Dice off the table, no roll. I'm gonna grab the same die. All right, here we go. Eight, easy eight, we're out on the eight. All right, 60 and 60. I'm gonna get four and change. We are set up and ready to go. Seven uh, point seven roll like that. Doesn't matter how you're betting, unless you're on the dark side, right? No, no good, no good. All right, here we go. Give it another try. Four. So far, we haven't had a roll to make any money yet. All right, we're out on the four. Because we hit the early six and eight, I think uh, uh, he's pulled a little bit um, more back. All right, so we'll go 50. Actually have the exact change, so we'll go 56 to the dealer. And we'll get set up here. Oh, that feels too heavy. It is. All right, there we go. 18 each on the six and eight. All right, here we go. Let's find out what happens. Nine. All right, we're gonna roll one of my numbers and see if that works out any better for me. All right, 10 is gonna pay 14. I'm gonna slide it down and cover the 10, and I'm gonna keep, or I can throw in the dollar. Remember, I have that extra dollar. Throw it in, because I haven't invested 60 yet. So we'll get that right up to $15, which will pay me a green as soon as, soon as or if it hits. All right, here we go. Nine, there's that nine again. All right, 10 is going to pay 14. We'll just uh, we'll, we'll throw this on there and make this a $25 buy bet. And we'll just keep a couple pennies. All right, here we go. Eight, eight easy. So up here, 30 is gonna pay 35. He's gonna rack a green and cover the nine. My 18 is gonna pay 21. I'm gonna throw in three and just take these up to $30. So he's pulled money off, but I've got some great bets here. So it just, it just depends what numbers roll. Five. All right, down here, 10 is going to pay 14. And again, I'll just throw in a dollar and say $15 on that four. So that's gonna immediately pay a green if I can hit it. All right, here we go. Let's keep this roll going. Four the hard way, four hard point hit. All right, 15 is going to pay 27. And I have finally collected my green. I can pull those pennies off. I don't know what I just did with the dice, but the puck is gonna go off. Our bets are off, all right? Here we go, looking for a new point. 10, 10 the hard way, so we're out on the 10. And here we go, let's roll some numbers. Four the hard way, four hard. So again, 15 is gonna pay 27, I'm just gonna collect. Three, three craps, we don't care about that. Five. All right, five is going to pay 14. And we'll just throw the 10 on the five and make that a $25 buy. 
And we'll just collect a couple pennies there. All right, here we go. 10 down there on the other end. That's a good one. We have a buy on that as the point hits. So 25 is gonna pay 50 for one for that VIG. So we'll collect two more green and the puck's gonna go off. All right, let's get a new point established. Eight, eight the hard way. And this is how I envision my alteration working out. He's still just only on three numbers. I'm already across and collecting big numbers on the 410. But again, you saw earlier, he had the advantage. So it just depends on how these dice roll. Three, three craps. There is no right or wrong way to play this game. This is my opinion. It just, uh, you know, if it wins, it's a good bet. If it loses, it's a bad bet. All right, I'd like to get this five pressed up. So five is going to pay 14. So here is one other alteration I'm gonna make. For him, he would just keep pushing it down on the four. I think I'm going to kind of distribute my money a little bit because this is already, I'm collecting greens. I'm gonna take this $10 and just put it on the five and now it'll start paying greens. All right, so let me rack that. And the five didn't, didn't pay his hand any there. 10, 10 the hard way. So again, this is going to pay 50 for one. The VIG is on the $25 bet. So I'll rack up some more green there. And here we go. Yo, 11. And there's that seven. All right, so all our bets are gonna come down now. I think I had the advantage on that round. But did I win enough to overcome the early losses? I don't know. Give this another, another try or two. Here we go, coming out. That's why we both suggest having enough for 10 shooters. You you got to withstand and hang in there for that long roll. All right, so we're going to do $30, 6 and 8. And I'm also going to, I've got the change, 56 to the dealer. We'll go the inside numbers, heavy on the 6 and 8. All right, let me grab some singles in case I need them. And here we go. Five, there's the five. All right, 10 is gonna pay 14. I'm just gonna cover the four and keep some pennies. And seven, so both of us are not gonna win anything. All right, down they come. That was a quick one. And we'll give this, how much time has it been? We'll give this one more try unless it's super short. All right, here we go, coming out. Six, six easy, we're out on the six. So again, 30 on the six and eight, and I'm going to give exact change of 56. Covering the inside, heavy on the six and eight. All right, here we go, shooter. Need this six and eight. Yo, 11, we don't have that number bet. Five. All right, 10's gonna pay 14. I'm gonna cover the four, collect some pennies. And here we go. Three, three craps. Nine, sister number. All right, 10 is going to pay 14. Again, I'm gonna use cover 10 on the 10 and rack some more pennies. Um, actually, we we're gonna throw in, so we have enough. We got so many here. We'll do five, five, and we'll take these up to $15 bets. That way they'll pay a green immediately if they hit. All right, here we go. It's without investing any more numbie. So there's the five, so 10 again is going to pay 14. We'll use the 10 to make this a $25 buy bet. Collect the pennies that time. And here we go. 
four, there we go. So 25 is going to pay 50 for a $1 VIG. It's a good hit for us. And here we go. Nine. See, it just depends on how the dice roll. So 10 is going to pay 14. Throw the 10 on here, make this a $25 VIG or $25 buy bet, I should say. And collector pennies. And he's still stuck on that six or eight. Here we go. Eight, there's that eight. All right, 30, we'll pay 35. He's pulling back his green and he's covering the nine. My 18 is going to pay 21. I'm gonna throw in three and take these up to the green level. So he pulled money out back and I'm just now getting these to 30. All right, here we go. Nine, all right, that's good for both of us. So here 10 is going to pay 14. He's gonna push it down to the 10 and collect some pennies. My 10 is going to pay 14. I'm already at the green level here, so I'm just gonna use this 10 to put on the nine. And if it hits, this $20 bet uh, will pay a green. All right, here we go. Five. All right, 10, same situation. 10 is gonna pay 14. I'm already at green, so I'm gonna push the five up. So 20 will pay 28, right? Yeah, 28. So we'll get our green off of that. All right, here we go. Nine. All right, 10 is going to pay 14 and he's gonna push it down. And I'm not sure how he necessarily deals with the end when he switches to buys or whatever. I'll go ahead and throw in this penny and make this a $25 buy bet for him as well. And my 20 is going to pay 28. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rack a green and collect the pennies. All right, here we go. Five. All right, he's not on the five. I got 20 is going to pay 28. Okay, so I'm just gonna collect a green. If we can keep this roll going, we'll be pulling off greens and we're trying to make up our money uh, lost from all the previous rollers. There's that five again. So again, we'll get paid 28. We pulled off like six pennies, right? So we'll just push those down the line or we'll use five of it. And we'll push that down to the four, make that a $30 buy bet. Hopefully it's still only a $1 Vegas casino. All right, here we go. Let's keep the roll going. Eight, eight easy. All right, 30 is gonna pay 35. He's gonna rack his quarter and push it down to the nine. My 30 is going to pay 35. I'm also gonna rack a quarter and push this down. What do we have? 20. Take this to a $30 bet. Now you've got good money out here. I mean, now I'm probably jinxing the dice right now, but you've got good money out here. You can always regress back down and start over whenever you want. But because we started small, it seems like you just want to keep the money out there and keep collecting on take advantage of a hot roll, right? Of course, we never know it could end at any moment, um, but that's kind of up to you. We got some good amount of money up here that we could pull back, but I don't know. Let's see if we can keep this shooter going here. Six, six easy point hit. I right, finally hit that hit, hit six. So 30 is gonna pay 35. He's gonna rack a quarter, cover the five. I'm gonna get paid 35. I'm gonna rack a quarter, cover this, and we got a $30 bet here. Puck is gonna go off. Puck's off, our bets are off, and here we go. Six, easy six. Bets are working, here we go. Eight, I thought that was the bad number for a second. All right, 30 is gonna pay 35. He's racking a quarter, pushing it down the line, which gives him a $30 nine as well. All right, my 30 is gonna pay 35. I'm gonna rack a quarter and press 
10 down. So now we're at a $40 bet on the nine. So that's what I like about his strategy. It's, it's built in that you're collecting that green. You're pulling money back. We're still pressing. We're going to take advantage of a big roll, but we're collecting money. All right, here we go. It's just built right into the strategy. You don't have to think about it. All right, five. So 10 is going to pay 14 up here. He's going to press down. He finally has all of his numbers covered. And again, we'll just throw in a penny, make this a $15 bet so he can collect a green. I'm at 30, which is going to pay 42. So I'm going to rack my quarter and then I have uh, $17 here. Should I just push it down on the four? Yeah, I guess so. So this would take it up to 40, oh, let's see, 25, 30, 47. Well, 47, I'll throw in the three extra and take this up to a $50 buy bet. Now I'm moving up to a $2 VIG for sure. That'd be great if we can hit that four, picking up a black chip. All right, here we go. Good roll for us so far, two aces. This is what you're hoping for, a long roll. One out of 10 shooters to get that big roll. All right, 10, both of us are going to get paid 50 for one. And 50 for one, $1 VIG on the $25 bet. Well, looks like I'm gonna need some more green. And here we go. Eight, eight easy. 30 is gonna pay 35. He's gonna collect a green. And we can take this up to 30, a $40 nine. Same with me. 30 is going to pay 35 and we could take this up to a $50 nine. The only question I have about a strategy is he never really presses the six and eight anymore. So I'm kind of happy with this. I think what I'm going to do is collect a quarter, throw in two pennies and uh, make this a $42 bet. So it'll pay two greens. All right, here we go. Eight, there's that eight, there we go. I guess I made the lucky or smart decision. All right, 30 is gonna pay 35. He's collecting his green, he's gonna push it down the line. So what do we have here? He's got a $50 nine. So I've got 42, which is gonna pay 49 or 50 for one. And I'm gonna take that. So I'm gonna collect the two green and I'm not gonna push anything down on the five or the nine for right at the moment. I'll do that the next time. So that's kind of where I'm altering a little bit. Eight, there's that eight again. Now I'm tempted to collect the two green. All right, 30 is gonna pay 35. He's collecting a green and he's gonna push it down the line. We got $60 nine. All right, I'm gonna pay out the long way just coat so we can see how it is. So 25, 45, 49. So I'm just gonna collect one quarter and take the 20 and put it on here. Let's see where we're at. Take this up to 50. And we'll take it, we'll, we'll have the same bet as him. Both of us are on it for $60 and we'll rack a couple pennies. So we got that nine pressed up really well. All right, here we go. Yo, 11. This is the kind of roll you're looking for for this type of strategy. Dice off the table, no roll. Let's ask for the same die, same hot shooter. Let's see if it works. Or if superstition holds six hard, we beat the superstition. All right, there's our point hit. So 30 is gonna pay 35. He's gonna rack a green. He's gonna move 10 down the line. He's got a $20 bet there. I'm gonna get paid 35. I'm gonna rack my green and I'm happy with my $30 bet here. It's already good. So I'm actually gonna throw in $2 and take that six up to 42. So it pays two greens. All right, the puck's gonna go off. And here we go. So both of us are in great position at this point. Two aces. We're out on the nine. We would have liked to hit that nine because we both have good bets on it, $60 bets. All right, here we go. Eight, eight easy. When will this roll end? All right, 30, I'm not complaining, just saying. 30 is gonna pay 35. We'll push this down. 
We got 50, we got a $70 bet. Me, 42 is going to pay, I'm gonna pay out 50 for one. And I'm gonna be a little conservative. I'm not gonna press, I'm gonna pull two, two greens. Cause I got a $60 bet here, which is pretty good. All right, here we go. Three, three craps. Five. All right, 20 is going to pay 28. He can rack his green and we'll just collect the pennies. I'm at 30, which is going to pay 42. I'm gonna take my green and we'll just, we'll throw in $10 to kind of keep this even. So we'll take this up to a $60 buy bet and rack a little bit there. Eight, oh wow. This is one of my better rolls I've had in a while. All right, so it's gonna kind of make any strategy look good. All right, 30 is gonna pay 35, rack in the green, 10, what do we got here? All right, we'll collect a nickel and we'll take this to $75. Or you know what, we'll take this nickel and we'll throw it down here on this 10, just in case. So he's got a $30 10. All right, 42 is going to pay 50 for one. And I'm going to collect one and send this down to the nine. So we'll have a $75.9 and I'll just keep pushing this down too. So we'll make it a 35, well, $30. So we're the same situation as him, $30. 10, and here we go. Five. All right, 20 is going to pay 28. He's gonna rack the green. And we could throw in a couple pennies and push $5 down. So they've got a $20 four, which well, I don't wanna clean it, but that'll also be a buy bet. My $30 bet is going to pay 42. And believe it or not, I am out of Green. I don't have that many greens, so I'm going to exchange some. One, two, three, four to the bank. Having to make change with the bank means it's a good day. All right, so I'm going to do four black there, and we'll, we'll take some from here too. One, two hundred, and give crappy two hundred to black. And now my payout, so again, 25, 30, 42. I'm gonna keep it green. And we've got a pretty good bet down here, $60. So I'm tempted to just keep it on the five. So um, if I throw in three pennies here, we've actually got enough for a $50 five. Looking good, all right, here we go. Six hard, six the hard way. 30 is going to pay 35. Racking a green, pushing some down. So this will be a $30 bet. My 42 is going to pay 50 for one. And again, I can collect two or push it down. Man, these are good bets. I'm just going to collect two. This roll can't keep lasting that long. All right, here we go. Yo, 11, maybe it can. Looking at my timer, this is a very long video, but what am I gonna do? All right, there's the five, so 30. We'll pay 42. Racking a green. And we'll send it down. What do we have here? 20, 25, we have a $30. Keep these, $30 buy bet on the four. And my 50 is going to pay 70. So I'm going to keep two green and push 20 down the end. So we got 50, uh, 50, 60, 70. We'll take it to 75, a nice round number, kind of. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nine point hit. 
All right, 75, I'm gonna have to break out the black here. This is the roll you're looking for. Just one, you know, one per visit, one per Vegas, right? So 75 is gonna pay 105. Hey, instead of racking green, we're racking black and we'll push five down. So we'll take that to a $35 buy. Let's see with me, 75 is gonna pay 105. I'm gonna rack a black, push five down to make it a $35 buy. And puck was, goes off. So now our bets are off, coming out. Four, right on the four. And here we go. <laughs> Nine. All right. Again, 75 is gonna pay 105 for both of us. We'll just rack it and push five down. I'm gonna rack the black. So now it's not collecting green, it's collecting black with a roll like this. All right, here we go. Eight the hard way. The amazing roll continues. 30 is going to pay 35. I'm gonna rack it. And he pushes all down. Um, I don't know if and when he ever presses his six and eight up. I think when it falls, when the 10 hits, he puts extra. Um, so I guess I will just keep pushing it down. So we'll do that. So we'll go 75, 85. My 42 is going to pay 49 or 50 for one. I'll collect a green, which is really only $24, but close enough. And I'll push this green down to make this, look at this, worth the black. Regress, regress, regress. Start over, right? Start over. There's so much money out there. It takes big bets to win big money. And if the roll keeps going, that's where you really, it gets crazy. All right, 30, I'm starting to lose track here. So there's six fives, so that's 42. Rack the green, and we'll take this 20. Uh, we, got, we got three bucks here. We'll throw in the five and make this a $50 buy. At this point, you can't complain about a couple pennies here and there. All right, I've got 10 fives, which is going to pay 70. So I'm gonna collect two green and we'll push 20 down, which is, again, can't complain about a couple pennies. I'm gonna throw them in uh, four or five, which will make this $25. Put it on here, which is gonna take this up to a black level. So if I can hit that four, we're gonna get paid two black. I'm um, looking up at the time. This video is a monster. All right, here we go. Nine. This may be the longest roll I've ever had. And the most money I've probably won as well. All right, so 30. I've been on a hot streak the last few videos. 35. And, um, man, it's starting to get ridiculous. So, but I'm going to stick with him and uh, move it down. So we'll collect a green. This is how he does it and presses it down. So we'll, I don't really have enough pennies, so we'll just, we'll keep it at this, which is a 75, 85, $95 bet. My 42 is going to get paid 50 for one. I'm happy with that black. So let's actually take this up to a $60 bet. So we'll go 50, $60. And pull off another green. Wowsy Wowser. Six. All right, 30 is going to pay 35. Rack of green, push two down. 42 is going to pay 49 or 50 for one. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take this up to a $60 bet. Rack my green and I'll just rack this extra change. All right, here we go. Man, I'd love to have a roll like this. Uh, 10. So now we got to do some math here. So 25, 30, we have 40, which win 80. 
it's going to be a $2 VIG. So let me break this down here. So three and change to cover that $2 VIG. So rack in three green there. Very nice. And I think I'm in the same situation. 30, yep, 40. So I'm also going to get paid 80 minus a $2 VIG. And I actually, that was the money, whatever rolled off the 10, that's where he would dump onto his, um, on his eight. Uh, but I paid like three green. I really, the next time I'll push it over on the eight. If there is a next time. <laughs> All right, there's the seven. I'm almost kind of relieved as crazy as that is just cause this roll has been so crazy, but I can't have a, an hour long video. Um, and it's probably pretty entertaining to watch. Let me clean this up and get a count. He obviously got off to a quick start. The first couple of rolls, he hit the six and eight early, which gives him, him the advantage. I think this last roll, um, I had the advantage because I was rolling five and nines to start off with. So puck's gonna go off. So a lot of money out here on the layout. Again, regress whenever you want, but if you regress, you don't have the big bets to win the big money. All right, let's start with crappy, because I'm pretty sure I am ahead. So we'll go black, green, red, and white. All right, three, four, that's five, six, seven, eight, slippery little suckers, nine, ten. There's a pumpkin. Uh, ten seventy five and eleven eleven oh five eleven oh nine. So let me just uh, color up for pumpkin chip eleven oh nine. Pretty good. And let's see what I did here. Pull out the blacks, green, red, got some white. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a thousand. One, two, three, three. 400, so 1,400, 25, 50, 75, 85, 90, 100. I should probably have these over here. And then 105, 108. So 1,000, 14, 15, oh, 08. Oh, is this, yeah. So 15, oh, 08. So as you can see, I came out a little bit in front of them. We both did really well. Um, of course, as a monster roll and just about any strategy, light side strategy is gonna do well. But I just have a little comfort level on having the five and nine covered. Obviously you saw he was actually a little less risk as long as he hit that six and eight, but um, I had a little more risk for a longer period of time, but I liked having that five and nine working for me. So before my memory card fills up, uh, this is his best $10 strategy with my little alteration. And I hope you liked it. Definitely check out his channel. I'll link to his video below. And until next time, good luck on coloring up.